Hey everybody, DJ Lou here, and I want to talk on something that I must see two, three, four times a day on the forums. Should I buy this particular microphone or a broadcaster that operates in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum? Let's talk about this. First, let's talk the basics, because I do know that some people don't understand this. There are different parts of the spectrum that our equipment operate on. Typically, the most common you will see in a professional application is between 470 megahertz to 608 megahertz. This has been the spectrum we've been allocated now for a bit of time. It also happens to be the same frequencies that television stations run on the UHF spectrum, and also some repeaters and things of that nature, um, emergency operations and whatnot. So in particular cities, it can be a bit harder to operate in those areas. There's also other frequencies in like the 600s, the 900s and whatnot that are less congested and depending on the market that you're in they may be the best uh, place for you to operate your microphones or in-ear monitors but i'm not here to talk about that part of the spectrum i'm here to talk about the you know litany of 2.4 gigahertz devices that are out there now everything from rode microphones sennheiser has some sure has some you start to see these like wireless uh, broadcasters for like guitars and whatnot they all operate on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. And yeah, some are even advanced. Some will actually change channels if they happen to be in a very congested area. There's some logic that some have that makes it basically a more improved option to throw out there. But make no mistake, 2.4 gigahertz is a risky proposition. And I'm not here to say that you cannot operate on it. Of course you can, all these devices exist on it. But you're adding a lot of risk for a lot of reasons I'm gonna go over without basically saving a ton of money in the process. So why go this direction in the first place? So let's first talk about the whys of this. So 2.4 gigahertz spectrum is a much more basically narrow band of uh, frequencies that things like routers, microwaves, security systems, cameras, cell phones, Bluetooth, all these have some component of 2.4 gigahertz that operates with those devices. So what happens, you're at a wedding, 50, 100, 200, 300 or more devices are most likely gonna be turned on and you're increasing the noise floor of the entire part of the spectrum to begin with and you have this basically competition for what's operating on those parts of the spectrum. So there's more chance with all of these devices that are in play that they're gonna to start to interfere with your wireless mics or transmitters. This you do not want. As I always say, things will work until they don't. And no joke, I've had three people just in the past week said that they had 2.4 gigahertz you know, devices, some of very good quality, but they finally ran into a situation where it failed. And I'm also not trying to say that, that you won't experience any potential failure in a proper spectrum of like 470 to 608. However, if you treat it with the care that you should on any wireless device, you do your proper scanning, you buy quality stuff, your antennas are you know, high up so they're a better line of sight with the microphones or the other you know, receivers that are out there, you are gonna have a much higher opportunity of no failure than if you were to say to run 2.4. Also in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, because of the physics of it, you can't penetrate through nearly as many things. The frequency is more narrow, it has harder times penetrating through us human beings, buildings, things of that nature. Plus you typically have a maximum range of around 100 feet and that's usually in the extremes. Um, you know, I, I've definitely seen some people who are having significant problems even like 20 feet, 30 feet and whatnot. If you understand how frequencies work, if you take the care of you know, proper scans and all that, you're just gonna have fewer potential failures in a more what I would consider a professional band in the 470 to 608 and some of the other guard bands why take the risk and again some of the cost savings are not that much different you know proper sennheiser and shore microphones you only save like one two hundred bucks out of it take the time take the investment don't add risk into your services so there's a video and i hope you liked it if so interact below in the comments hit that thumbs up ding the bell so you get all the notifications on this stay tuned for more